Today, the video is gonna be a lot less strategy -y. a lot less technical. We're gonna talk about freedom because I'm all about that freedom. And also I have an announcement. You are now called a Sky CEO. I don't know who came up with it. If I was the one that came up with it, it was something that happened on Instagram stories that I was like, so we are sticking with it. A lot of people think the freedom is to make a lot of money. Is it though or isn't? Tell me down below right now if you think it is or if you think it is not. And what is freedom for you actually? Let me know what is the definition of freedom to you. So if you don't know, I am all about digital products that teach people something in an elegant business model, meaning structure, elegance. This was supposed to be actually the theme for this video, but I decided to switch it up so that I talk about the elegant business model after teasing a little bit of it. The elegant business model, the, el the word elegance comes from the Latin to select, to elect to choose what a structure that makes sense for your business so if you are here to build a business to gain freedom financial freedom geographical freedom any sort of freedom whatever freedom means to you you need to choose a structure that makes sense and i am tired i even took a screenshot recently of an ad I'm not gonna say whose ad it was. I'm just gonna read the tagline. Basically, the ad said, don't build a business, sell an ebook. Ooh, I do not like that. 90% of people are looking for hacks out there. And I am here to defend your freedom, to defend creating a business. Because even though it might seem counterintuitive to build a business in order to gain freedom, how else are you going to take control of that freedom? How else are you going to manage, not take control, but manage that freedom without a structure? There's nothing simple in life. A good foundation is the key. And if you believe the opposite, you are lying to yourself because you do not need a huge structure. You need, to, you need a structure that makes sense to the size of your vision. Of course, with growth comes the depletion of other freedoms. And this is where the... Mm, the DNA is at, right? Because people are like, but I don't want to be famous. I hate that word. I don't want to be internet famous to build my brand. Well, you don't have to. You can get freedom by having the right structure, the right level of engagement. Everything that comes too easily, too fast, isn't sustainable and a structure that makes sense promotes stability no stability is not the right word i also don't like that word to describe this what is a better word it promotes opportunities to create more freedoms to create more comfort to create more time create more time buy you more and if you want to know more about the structure that i'm talking about as per usual because every single video i point people back to that first video the first video in this channel that's an example of a structure one of the structures that i build with my mentees and i'm also going to be launching a course that teaches basically what i do with my mentees so you can do it yourself it's the classic loto lottery fallacy. People that make money too fast, they don't keep that money. You've heard that before probably a thousand 
times. And it's true because in order to obtain that freedom, you so want geographical freedom. I'm passionate about geographical freedom. freedom. I'm passionate about financial freedom. And I know I actually got, I'll see if I remember to put here on the screen, someone's answer to that question. If I, I know that if I, paraphrase now, get financial freedom, I will be able to attain any other freedoms. And there are many ways to do that. The way that I do it is taking my knowledge, building products that help people transform. But in order to become that ideal person, I need to go through that process. So anything that is a hack for me is counter, is countering that idea because lottery luck without preparation isn't any sort of change i think case you need to become the person that conquered that liberty that freedom you cannot just suddenly so if you are desperate for change what do you do if you're desperate for freedom i don't know about you but if I am someone looking for that transformation, even if it's painful, and it will be painful, and it will hurt a lot, it will be probably one of the most uncomfortable things you're going to do in your life. And I've done it once, and I'm going through it again. Before I moved to Finland, I had to give away back forsake give up a few freedoms in order to learn more about Finland to prepare myself to learn the language to understand the culture and while it might not seem like a big change for a 14 year old to give up free time to learn another language planning to move to another country it's a lot it's painful because you don't want to be the one sitting in the classroom being pointed out teachers called me finland because of that I, that was my nickname in high school <laughs> literally finland my chemistry and my history teacher used to call me that i'd rather go through that pain than reach that level too fast and then suddenly lose it all. That's a much bigger pain to me. Having it in my hands and then take have it be taken away from me. I'd rather give a few of the things away now. Partying, free time, leisure, whatever it is. Right now I'm cutting down on leisure. Leisure? I'd rather give leisure away now. Give up leisure in order to do the change that I'm going through, then have that be taken away. But so to me, the tool of money is giving me the freedom, because I have, I have the content. This person writes the content in Portuguese to translate it to you. It's no wonder my brain sometimes can't function. And I do that because I write copy better in Portuguese. But boy, I just gave three hours of mentoring and I'm recording again. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you that this is why I'm a little. <laughs> Freedom for me is to work from anywhere. Whenever I want. However I want. Choose what I do with my time and with my schedule. And money can give you that, right? And despite the fact that I am going through a change and I have to give up a few of those freedoms, as in work whenever I want, I am working like a dog. And there's going to be that moment of a lot of work. So you can get there. Freedom to me is also buying my family comfort, experiences, health. You can buy, you can buy health, but you can 
you can't I mean technically you can right you can provide them with good food with exercise with leisure time as well mental health you can treatments exams so yes you can buy health and that to me is also happiness so money can buy happiness Ooh no she said it yes he can stop being uh, stuck up knowing that i can help someone because my content reaches my content includes products okay in this case my free products youtube videos instagram posts knowing that it can reach a place of vulnerability digitally it can reach anywhere that i physically can't that's part of freedom for me too this is why i do what i do if you think of freedom is to buy fancy things and you have nothing else to speak for it you got a problem you need to redefine what's freedom for you you need to redefine what's vision what's your vision what is a vision it's who you want to be what you want to achieve next what you want to what is your biggest dream what's your bucket list what are the things you want to do for you it has nothing to do with business for you what's your vision of a ideal life a lot of people spend their times that times a lot of people spend their time on earth without knowing anything that they want nothing they know nothing they have no idea no idea what's the next step they're not working towards anything <sighs> that's not that's not you that's not you and i at least it's not me what's the word if you think your freedom is only connected to the things that you can buy you do not know yourself well enough you do you have not spent enough time with yourself you are distracted with the wrong things you are distracted with the wrong people you are distracted in your in every single aspect of your life you come home from work you take your phone and you do nothing else you don't work on yourself you don't go work out you don't go to a new place you don't have movement you don't meet new people you don't you don't you don't Eita. then comes that little ad you can live with passive income by doing this and that and make 10k a month an extra 10k a month but what does that actually mean for your freedom? What do you have to become? It goes back to the question of getting to know you. It all starts with the nucleus of it all. You. Know exactly what you want to live. What you want to live. Write the hell down of it. What's your personality like? Who are you? Understand what adds to your life, what makes sense to you and what doesn't make sense to you. What are the things that make you the happiest? What are the things that you don't give up about? Ah, but I want to have, you know, a wealthy life lifestyle. I want all the cars and the houses and yada, yada, yada. And that's fine. But what is surrounding all of it? Can be that empty, fleshy thing, lottery without structure. That's not how it works. That's not. Luck is preparation, meeting opportunity. What are the things that you value in life? Your freedom is connected to that. I value abundance therefore sure buying things it's part of it but it's not the only thing and that's where people place the importance and why am i saying all of this what does the what does it have to do with the thing that i do with online businesses well unfortunately unfortunately 
that's what's marketed gurus out there selling the little courses and ebooks without a structure or offering a structure to their followers and people hold on to that because it sounds easy it sounds inviting it sounds like the next thing when you are the one that defines what's the next thing and can we stop glamorizing if that's a word in english it, it it's it's in portuguese so it's in, in it's a it's a word now okay can we stop glamorizing being broke poverty being broke I, i don't think anybody glamorizes poverty like real poverty but because being broke and being poor is two different things think about it so most people are content living that average life and seeking the, all the hacks the 90 percent of them working at the jobs they don't like and counting their days till the day they retire earning not even close to enough to actually have freedom and this is more like a reflection video that i felt like doing in all honesty i should be doing videos that are geared towards the product i'm launching towards the infinite product method but the entire idea the entire big idea behind my brand behind what i do behind then as well the product is the idea of using the internet the internet is a tool that can do so much good if you know how to use it technology is the bike For those that like to walk you can reach anything you want if you use the tools correctly money is a tool the internet is a tool and your freedom will be the result of this i want you to reflect on this and if you want define the freedom that you dream of in the comments Let me know. I'm interested in hearing it. Different video today. That's very unusual for me.